oddball score reduced, and CTF return time changed. If you guys want to know more about this, stay tuned throughout the video and we'll get the, into the deep dive details about this whole thing. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you some more Halo information. If you like these news informational kind of videos, make, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helped out the channel. Make sure to tap subscribe if you want to stay up to date with anything coming in Halo. Let's get right into the video here. So like I said at the beginning of this video, that the CTF return time for Refuge is going to change. It's going to be much longer and also the score limit for Oddball is changing to be a little bit shorter as well. These changes are coming right before the HCS event in New Orleans, which is coming around just next week, July 13th through the 15th. So just in time for the HCS event. And I think these changes are probably for the best. Oddball is brand new to this season of HCS. And personally, I've been really enjoying it, but it does seem like the games go on a bit long. And so that what they're gonna do, fixing that issue of how long these games run. And I'll show you some stats right now. So here's the main issue that's been happening. If you look at this graph, you can see the average game length for each game type that's in the HCS playlist. As you can see, Refuge on CTF goes very long, almost 11 minutes on average and oddball games are running anywhere from a little bit over nine minutes to almost 11 minutes as well when compared to the other game modes within hcs you can see they're all roughly about seven minutes long i mean they even removed ctf fathom because they thought the game mode was a bit slow and too many standouts and the game ran on a little bit long so they replaced it with ctf refuge and that only doubled the issue pretty much. The second graph here shows you the um, difference between games won by score and games won by time limit. As you can see, true in blue shows games won by score, which has roughly been about 63 to 68% of the time you'll be winning by score, where about 36% of the time you'll be uh, winning by time limit. So these games have been going on a little long. What 343 decided to do was they wanted to reduce the score limit in Oddball to 150. And they found by way, looking at the stats after they made that change, reducing the score by 50 points, they saw that the uh, change, as you can see, see right here, is the score of the 150, is that a lot more games are ending by score rather than time. So the games don't feel so dragged out. Another minor change is happening with CTF where they're making the return time on Refuge tw from 12 seconds to 15 seconds, giving you a little bit extra time to be able to move that flag forward to help uh, you know, act have more scoring happen compared to just having games won by time limit. So with these changes implemented, you can see on this graph here that the game times have been reduced drastically. Obviously, Refuge CTF still runs a bit long, uh, just under 10 minutes, but that's compared to just under 11 minutes. So they shaved off a full minute on average time right here. Same thing with the oddball game types as well. I just think it's odd that you know they removed the Fathom CTF game mode from HCS because they thought the game kind of dragged down a little bit, a little bit too many standoffs and the game really was kind of stagnant really. And they replaced it with CTF Refuge and it really just compounded that issue even more. And so it's, and with different rule sets, it gets a little more confusing for your average player to kind of hop in and play. Um, I mean, I definitely, when I'm playing, I definitely still see people jumping on the flag trying to return it. I'm like, nah, dude, it doesn't happen on this map. And I really didn't think it was that bad of a game type, really, or game map either. Like, I just thought that it might have been just saying, like, oh, it was, yeah, it was definitely the worst out of the bunch, but it wasn't, like, that bad. At least in my opinion, though. In fact, I kind of enjoy flag standoffs because it makes it a little bit more intense of going, like, oh, they're going to take them out. This is going to be the score kind of thing. So, uh, I mean, that's just my opinion, though, but obviously, uh, you know, I do enjoy playing Refuge on uh, CTF on that map as well. Um, I've definitely noticed that a bit drag zone a little bit, so hopefully these changes will help increase the uh, ability to score. I mean, especially with uh, Refuge, with the way the lines of sight have been elongated for Halo 5, that uh, it's very easy to pick people off with the accuracy of uh, the weapons now and the way the map is designed, it's very open, so it's much easier to pick people off over in range. I just think it's kind of a shame that they have to constantly make these changes right before the event in, in New Orleans right there for HCS, starting off a brand new season right there. Uh, I mean, I feel like it might be kind of unfair to some of the pro players, but obviously it's not that big of a change, but it, you know, changing anything right before an event is just kind of throwing a, a wrench in the system kind of thing. So I really hope that uh, they see a little more consistency with that. Really wish to kind of maybe test it out these maps a little bit more before implementing them into professional play. But 
that's just me though <laughs> like i said guys the hcs new orleans event is gonna be happening on july 13th through the 15th it's gonna feature halo 5 obviously but also gonna have some gears of war there as well at that same event uh, hopefully maybe during the down times between matches we get to see some you know gears of war 4 gameplay that would be pretty freaking fun talking about hcs events i actually have some images and video saved up from when I went to the HDS finals back in April in Seattle. I just I mean, intended to make like a big of a bit of a vlog kind of video as a commentary on it and I never did. So if you guys are still interested in seeing that leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. But that's gonna be it for the video guys. I do appreciate it. If you want to stay up to date with any more Halo information or gameplay or anything else make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. We give you notifications every time we upload awesome on the channel which is gonna be every time check out the videos on the screen right now if you're new to the channel and want to see some other stuff anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next video peace out